Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today in part two of our pumps and hoses how-to guide, we're going to take a look at separated manure. What is it? How do you make it? What can you do with it? But before that, this video is brought to you by Jonathan and Bomda. Thank you for being farm barons. So separating manure is fairly simple. It is a new product that you get when you take either digestate or slurry and run it through a new machine called a separator. Now we're gonna find the new machine in the pumps and hoses section of the build menu. So we're gonna to go to build menu, we're gonna to go to production, then under factories, we have three options as far as what we could put down. We have a stationary separator tower. We can place this wherever we want. We can rotate it 360 degrees and it's gonna cost you $40,000. And basically it's gonna separate 20,000 liters worth of separated manure into a pile. Let's go ahead and put that there. Then we've got another choice. We have a separator that is in a small kind of bunker area, three sides in these kind of concrete blocks. So we're gonna put this over here by our cows. We also have an option to have a larger covered bunker. And these bunkers, they rotate every 90 degrees. And we're gonna place this one over here by a liquid manure storage pit. It's $60,000. Then we have one more, and that is a mobile solution. And the mobile solution looks just like this. And you carry it around on front loader forks, either on a front loader, telehandler, or skid steer. You're going to find that in the shop menu under tools, miscellaneous. And then we have the PSS MEL 4 slash 5.5 dash 550 manure separator. Of course, you're also going to be able to find it over here at pumps and deal pumps and hoses in the DLC section. Same thing right there. $50,000. And we're going to place this right next to this uh, tank. This tank has liquid manure in it. Actually, let me position this in this direction. Now, when you come to transport this thing, you're going to want to transport it from this side because this side, the extruder, sticks out. And you really don't want that. So we're going to jump in this thing. Inner vehicle, we're going to unfold it. And boom, there it gets some legs. And now we are in working position and we can just hit R to turn it on. And we know it's running because we get little, visually we get little poo pellets basically coming out of here. So this thing, all it needs to be is adjacent to either liquid manure, aka slurry, or digestate. So we have it right here positioned next to this tank. We're going to let it run. We're going to fire this one up. Next to this slurry tank with 21,000 liters in it. We're going to let this one run. next to this cow pin that has 937 liters of slurry in it. And then lastly, we're going to let this tower run between these two tanks. And let's go ahead and come back in a little bit. So after approximately two hours, we now have 4,268 liters of separated manure 
from our two tanks of digestate. And you see this separated manure texture. Looks just like that. Let's go check and see how our other separators are coming along. We have a nice little pile here. And our tank is now down to 10,237. Our slurry tank is down to 10,100. We have 3,115. And then this one should have 454. And our slurry for our cows are down. This one's shut off, so we'll just turn it back on. There we go. Now, what can you use separated manure for? Well, it's pretty straightforward. One of the things you can use separated manure for is as a substitute for straw for animal bedding. So pigs, cows, and um, do horses require straw? I honestly never use horses, so I kind of forget. But any animal that you can use straw for, for bedding, you can use separated manure for. And the way it works is we're just gonna come up here and scoop up our separated manure off of our pile. And of course we could pick this up with a belt or a conveyor if we wanted to. Now we're going to take our separated manure into our cow pasture or cow pen. And we're just going to unload it. And you see now we have just a little bit where we would have a straw texture. We now have a separated manure texture. And if we look at our cows, you'll see that now instead of straw, it says separated manure, and we now have 2,995 liters. If we put down a manure heap, right? So if we came here and put down a manure heap for our cows, then if we fast forward in time, you would see that we would get some manure created here. Now, another use for separated manure is to use it in a manure spreader, just like you would use manure. You see here we are spreading separated manure now out onto a field. And as a result of doing so, we are going to be getting a fertilizer state. So there you can see we are getting a fertilizer state as a result of using our separated manure. Then there's one other thing that we can use separated manure for, and that is we could sell it for a little bit of money. So maybe you don't want to use digestate on the fields. Maybe it's just too much work. You can then go ahead and put down a manure separator and use that separated manure as a form of small, but still helpful supplemental income. There we go. $1,569 for a load of separated manure. So guys, I hope that helps answer the questions you may have related to what on earth is separated manure? What is the act of separating manure and then ultimately what can you do with that separated manure once you have it let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to using man separated manure as either one animal bedding two 
using it on your fields as fertilizer, or three, just using it to sell it. Something that has been kind of theorized is you can use separated manure as you're bedding for your cows. And if you don't want to do wheat, barley, or oats for the purpose of obtaining straw, you can just use separated manure. So you could take your slurry, take it down to the BGA, mix it in with silage, and you're going to get yourself digestate and money because of the energy sales. You then take that digestate, separate it into manure, separate a manure, put that on your cows for bedding. You're then going to get manure. Take your manure, put it back through the BGA once again to repeat the process. And until next time, happy farming.